Hi there, this is Teacher Carol from Cambridge.com and welcome back once again to NTC's Dictionary of Everyday American English Expressions. In the previous video, we're done talking about health and appearance. Now, we will discuss a new topic and that would be sickness. Sickness. To begin with, let's talk about first those expressions under concerning allergies concerning allergies if you do have some allergies how will you say that to someone here are some of the expressions that you can use you can say i'm allergic to sofa or i'm allergic to penicillin i'm allergic to sofa or i'm allergic to to penicillin. The word I'm allergic to is equal to the word I have an allergy to or I can't tolerate. Meaning you can use I have an allergy to sulfa or I can't tolerate sulfa. You can also say I have an allergy to penicillin or I can't tolerate penicillin. If you do have some allergies about animals, then you can say, I'm allergic to cats, or I'm allergic to dogs. I'm allergic to cats, or I'm allergic to dogs. I'm allergic to pollen, or I'm allergic to dust. I'm allergic to pollen, or I'm allergic to dust. I'm allergic to bees or bees things. I'm allergic to bees or bees things. I'm allergic to chocolate or shrimp or strawberries. I'm allergic to chocolate or food that is sweet. I'm allergic to shrimp or seafoods. I'm allergic to strawberries, so meaning you're allergic to those kind of fruit that is berry. I can't have chocolate or dairy products. I can't have chocolate or dairy products. I can't eat strawberries. I can't eat strawberries. I can't drink milk. Or I can't digest milk. I can't drink milk or I can't digest milk. I'm lactose intolerant. I'm lactose intolerant. When you say you do have a lactose intolerance, that means that you cannot drink those food with milk because your stomach or your tummy will be terribly feels bad or feeling bad. I have hay fever. I have hay fever. Hay fever is an allergy caused by airborne particles. Dairy products make me break out in a rush. Dairy products make me break out in a rash. This is an idiom meaning that when you eat dairy products, rashes will appear on your skin or it's a red spots on your skin. Next is my ID bracelet list my allergies. My ID bracelet list my allergies. I have an environmental illness. I have an environmental illness. Environmental illness is a kind of illness that you can get from those things around you, like chemicals, allergens, or sometimes to those food that you eat. So these kind of person or people are really having a hard time or very picky with the things that they're going to wear, the food that they're going to eat, and the place where they're going to go. So, now that you already know those kinds of allergies that we have, if you will encounter someone or if you 
yourself. If you have those kind of allergies, you can now express yourself to other person that they can understand your condition too. Okay? Great. Now, let's talk about allergic problems with the nose and breathing. Allergic problems with the nose and breathing. If you have some problems with your nose or breathing, then here are some of the expressions that you can use. My allergies are acting up or my sinuses are acting up. My allergies are acting up or my sinuses are acting up. Sinuses is a kind of infection caused by allergies or by some small particles that affects your sinus. My sinuses are bothering me. My sinuses are bothering me. My sinuses ache. My sinuses ache. My sinuses are congested. My sinuses are congested. My nose is clogged or congested. My nose is clogged or congested. My nose is stuffed up. My nose is stuffed up. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. If you have some problems or if you know someone who has some problems with their nose and breathing, then probably they have some allergies or sinuses. So guys, that will be all for today about sickness. Join me in the next video as we talk about more of those expressions about this topic. This has been your teacher Carol always saying have fun while learning new and extraordinary expressions only here from camglish.com. See you next time. Goodbye for now.